Ukraine has been caught in a tug of war between the West and Russia ever since independence. Both sides are jockeying for influence over the economically troubled country of 46 million. Russia's President Vladimir Putin hasn't said much publicly about the protests happening next door, but he briefly touched on the topic during the State of the Nation address today. We know about all the events that are taking place in Kiev at the moment and all the political forces of the country. It is in the interest of the Ukrainian authorities to succeed. We need to work together in all these spheres. We are not obligating anyone to do anything. This is our wish, to work together. How will Russia respond if Ukraine's president goes against Putin's wishes and signs that EU agreement? I asked Alexei Pushkov, head of the International Affairs Committee in the Russian parliament, when he joined me earlier from Moscow. Well, Mr. Yanukovych has made different statements uh, these last weeks, and uh, he never actually rejected the possibility of signing a deal with the European Union. But uh, he said uh, on many occasions that he is not happy with the content of the deal. Mm -hmm. So what he meant when he said that he may sign this association deal with the European Union is not quite clear to me. Is he ready to sign the deal which has been proposed to Ukraine? and which is, to my mind, not very appealing, and uh, to the mind of Mr. Yanukovych neither, or he is ready to sign some kind of deal which can be reconsidered by the European Union and which may contain better conditions. This is not clear yet, and uh, I will need some more information to make my judgment. But if a deal is signed, that would not satisfy the Russian government, which wants Ukraine to sign a deal with it, uh, a trade deal with its bloc. Is that the case? Well, Russia is definitely interested uh, to have uh, a closer integration and economic relationship with Ukraine. This is true. But at the same time, uh, the Russian president uh, said on many occasions that uh, he will respect the Ukrainian choice, that whatever Kiev decides to do will be respected by Russia, and we will uh, definitely... Uh, not uh, complicate our relationship over this. Because, of course, as you know, the criticism geared toward Russia is that Russia is simply bullying Ukraine into rejecting a European trade deal and trying to bully it into getting closer to the Russian side on this. What's your response to that? I think this is, I think this is a very biased approach. I think the European Union does bully Ukraine. Uh, to accept the deal, which is uh, definitely not very advantageous to Ukraine. Have you seen the deal? Have you read this deal? Mm -hmm. It offers 660 million euros to Ukraine, and that's it. In the times when Ukraine has a huge uh, debt, uh, it has to pay $2 billion for its gas debt to Russia. It has to live through a very hard winter. It has very small uh, financial uh, and gold reserves. And uh, the EU offers a token uh, package which is not of any interest to the Ukrainian government. And that's why Mr. Yanukovych has initially rejected it. And then all these demonstrations started with the participation of the European ministers of different countries of foreign affairs who were speaking on the uh, Maidan, uh, mm -hmm. joining the protesters and so on. I would say this is uh, taking Ukraine by the neck and try trying to bring, bring it forcefully into the paradise. So we don't agree with this, uh, with this reading. So you're seeing the European Union essentially as strong-arming Ukraine? Absolutely. If you go to Kiev today, Khala, and uh, you look how many European representatives are there trying to influence the Ukrainian government, supporting the protesters, making statements, giving interviews, and then you compare them to the number of Russians who are there, you'll find that there are no uh, Russian political personalities there trying to make Ukraine and make a choice which Russia would like it to make. Uh, you will see only uh, foreign ministers and members of parliament. And by the way, uh, Mrs. Victoria Nuland from the State Department saying to Ukraine what to do. And this is a very drastic difference in the Russian approach and in the Western approach. Do they not have a right to protest against their government in a free society? Actually, did I say anything against this? I say that they have the right to do this, but I don't think that they have the right to dictate to the whole Ukrainian nation what way to take. Now, I have to say, if this EU deal is signed, 
eventually, and it's possible that it will be. What would the Russian response be in that case, do you think? The Russian response would be, as it was uh, stated uh, before, uh, Russia will uh, reconsider its trade terms with Ukraine because there is not a single reason if Ukraine has a free trade zone with the EU to keep the present regime uh, of uh, Texas uh, customs regime with Ukraine. It will be a member of uh, a group of countries which has a free trade agreement. Russia is not part of this group. Mm -hmm. And Russia will defend its market from uh, the goods which may come from Ukraine. And I think Ukraine will lose a lot. And that's what we told the Ukrainians. And just we suggested them to make the calculus. What is better for them, to join the uh, free trade association with the EU uh, or to have uh, a most favored nation uh, regime with Russia. It's up to them to decide.